Hello friends, welcome to another lecture, lecture number 7 of electricity and magnetism for VSC and MSc students. So here we're going to discuss about electric field due to two concentric spherical cells, right? Before we start, please subscribe the channel. If you are new to my channel, also hit the thumbs up button, also bell icon as well, so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded. So now let's start. So these are two spheres concentric spheres with common center o so here radius of the inner sphere is suppose r1 these are two spherical cells actually r2 is the radius of the outer spherical cell right and the distance between the p and o center and the point p where we are want to find the electric field is suppose r right so let op be small r then r1 is the radius of inner cell inner spherical cell and r2 is the radius of outer spherical cell so let us let us consider that way now you see uh, the charge on the inner cell be suppose q1 and charge on distributed over the outer cell be q2 so q1 charge distributed over over the outer cell so let me rearrange these things so search distributed over the inner inner cell sorry inner cell that we have taken q1 and q2 is the charge distributed over the outer cell right so we have considered those things and so if we take the charge density of the outer cell suppose sigma 2 and surface charge density of the inner cell is suppose sigma 1 right so then we can write that here you see sigma one. surface charge density of inner cell sigma 1 that is that will be equal to charge over that surface and the surface area of 4 pi 1 r1 square that is the you know area of uh, 4 pi r1 square that will be the area of the inner spherical cell right so we can write q1 is equal to sigma 1 into 4 pi r1 square similarly sigma 2 that is charge density over the surface of uh, outer cell that will be q2 q2 divided by 4 pi r2 square and hence sigma 2 will be equal to sorry q2 that charge over the outer surface q2 will be equal to sigma 2 pi r2 square that is what we will get right so now you see uh, let me go to the next slide so in lecture so in lecture number three uh, link of this lecture given in the description box we have started that electric field at a point p which is at a distance of a small r from the center of a spherical cell of radius capital r charge over it suppose q that is given by electric field at p is given by q by 4 pi epsilon naught small r square that's what we have already got right in lecture 3 so now in this case you see uh, let me clean this part we have two spheres uh, spherical cells uh, this uh, inner one and the outer one as well this is the inner spherical cell and this is the outer spherical cell so in that case uh, electric field at p we can write electric field at p electric field at p 
uh, which is uh, here in this case r is greater than r2 that means p is lying outside at p due to due to the two spherical cells cells so we have to add the electric field due to this inner cell and outer cell so electric field at p due to the inner cell will be q1 because charge over it is q1 and q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught r square and due to the outer cell the electric field will be q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught r square right so if you add these two then you will get electric field at p right electric field at p that will be equal to e is equal to sum of this one and this one right so now let me clean this thing so hope you have understood this so what i have done i have added the electric field electric field at p due to the inner inner cell and this is due to the outer cell this is due to the outer cell so hope you have understood this now here you can see you can take 4 pi epsilon not common right uh, before that we can replace q1 by q2 with these two values in terms of charge density if you write in terms of charge density that means sigma 1 4 pi r1 square by 4 pi epsilon naught small r square plus q2 will be sigma 2 4 pi sorry so 4 pi 4 pi capital r2 square 4 pi epsilon naught r square right so now uh, here you can see that we can cancel 4 by 4 by here also right so we got sigma r1 sigma 1 r1 square by epsilon naught r square small r square then plus sigma r2 square by epsilon naught small r square so we can take 1 by epsilon naught small r square common so within bracket we have got sigma r1 square plus sigma 2 r2 square that's what we have got so this is the expression for electric field at p due to this uh, concentric hemispherical uh, sorry concentric spherical cells right so when p is when p lies outside the cell this is the first case so we can write uh, simply case one this is case one case one right let me write case one so next case what if p lies between these two cells right suppose p lies here right so that means uh, in the second case let me go to the next slide uh, electric field so let me write here case two case two right so electric field at p so now r is greater than capital r1 but less than small r1 so diagram should be like this with now the point p is here, here is the point p and this is the distance r so this is small r is less than r2 and greater than r1 right so hope you have understood this so now here is the point p right let me make a correction here that should not be r1 it should be r2 r1 r small r is greater than r1 and less than r2 right now as you can see this is the point p here and this q2 q2 charge is distributed over the outer cell only right this q2 charge is not uh, inside this outer 
cell so that's why so in order to find the electric field p if you draw a gaussian surface spherical gaussian surface through this p point p then this gaussian surface will enclose only q1 surface which is distributed over the inner cell so that's why here you see let me go to previous slide so this term will be zero sorry not this one this term will be zero here q2 is equal to zero right uh, in the second case so don't write here zero okay so let me go to the second case so here you see this is the second case here we are not going to consider this second term in this case right so that means here we will get e is equal to q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught small r square right and q1 is nothing but sigma 1 pi pi sorry 4 pi 4 pi capital r 1 square divided by 4 pi sigma small r square so here you can see 4 pi 4 pi cancel so our result is sigma 1 r 1 square by epsilon naught r square so this is the result for this case right so now uh, if p lies inside the both cell that means uh, inside the inner cell that means p is less than suppose uh, if p is sorry that means small r is less than uh, is r1 suppose now let me take this case this is these are the two cells this is r2 this is r1 radius and p is here this is the small r suppose p is here in this case so now you see so inside this cell there is no charge enclosed right so this is case 3 case 3 so here electric field at p will be zero so electric field at p inside the inner cell inner cell is here e is equal to zero so hope you have understood